Each one of these people right here is getting hosed by the Chicago Water Department. We've exposed the bad billing, but the problems spill over. And CBS2 investigator Brad Edwards found that there is a reason the customer service department is not drowning in complaints. Pun intended. To me, it seemed kind of ruthless. In the city of Chicago. In her quest for water bill relief, she talked to eight. Thank you for calling Espanol for water emergency three for further information. Customer service reps. She put me on hold and then I was disconnected. I called back again. She put me back on hold and then she hung up on me. The city called those hang-ups, dropped call. And then I was disconnected. Yep, Melody's getting hosed. But unlike most of the victims in our ongoing investigation of the city of Chicago's water billing practices, Melody has a metered account, which should accurately track how much water she used. $6,300. For one month of usage. But that's impossible. Melody's typical bill is... To me, it seemed kind of ruthless. Ruthless. At minimum, probably not the best customer service. J.D. Power, in 2019, conducted a survey, asked customers what they thought of their water utility. Chicago's water department ranked near the bottom, 15th out of 17 in the Midwest. That's lower than Detroit and lower than Aqua responsible for the lead contamination in University Park, a company now being sued by the state of Illinois. When she was desperate to get her wrong remedied, Melody had to wait 41 days. It was really frustrating. The average person in 2019 waited 51 days. I need to find out something sooner. I need to know what's going on. We've learned it typically takes us calling, at least in these cases. And yes, that's Melody added to the end of the list. We called an Alakazam, a 5600 buck refund. We asked the city to explain. They said the, quote, Department of Finance has reached out to the customer directly. But they didn't. I still don't understand what happened. Including all those dropped calls. We requested those recorded calls from the city. They requested an extension to our request. The city did write, our apologies for the dropped call. They've been having issues. We asked about the issues leading to dropped landline calls. No answer. Brad Edwards, CBS2 Investigators. Water shut us for non-payment are now a thing of the past. Banned under Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. So what about the bad showing in the customer service survey? Check it out at CBS Chicago slash getting hosed and let us know if you're getting hosed. <laughs>